What would be the setup costs for an independent Scotland? Uh, the report goes into all of the, the detail. Again, that will be aspects. The, uh, Patrick Dunleavy, a, a, an academic who looks in detail at these things, has informed uh, the report. The crucial thing... In How much would it be? Look, we, I'll give you that when we've debated, when we've analysed the Growth Commission recommendations would and come to... the recommendation in the report? Look, it, the recommendation in the report is a good recommendation. We, we're How going much would it cost? We, we're going through a process and we will come to a conclusion of that process. The point I was going to make, which... I'd like to just, so you mentioned the report's recommendation, Patrick Dunleavy. How much would it cost to set I'm not up going to, departments required for an we, independence? We court? haven't gone through the process of, the an, of analysing the report and coming to a recommendation. The point Patrick Dunleavy... Do, do you agree with the figure in the report? Look, the, the report puts forward its recommendations. They are good recommendations on that, as well as all of the other aspects. We're going to go through a process of analysing that and coming to conclusions. That's a you, normal democratic you way know of the doing it. In the um, I can't recall the exact figure in the report, but the it's 450 million pounds. Yes, over but five the point the, the point that Patrick Dunleavy makes, and he made it in the 2014 referendum, is that those set-up costs are repaid over a reasonably uh, short period of time because Scotland meets the costs of all of these agencies right now but most of the money we invest in them are invested in jobs outside of Scotland. When we have those jobs in Scotland, these are people who are paying tax revenues and that those costs are repaid over a short period of time. How much did it cost to set up a, so a Scottish social security agency but, currently? But, How much but, is it costing? But look, there is a difference here because what we are, we're not setting Can up... Can you just answer the, if we just get some figures going, how much Look, does it cost it to set up a Scottish social security? I, I don't have all of these figures right at the tip of my fingers right now, but the point here is what we are trying to do with social security within the devolved context is separate out some aspects of social security while the DWP still retains 85% of control. That is a different proposition to setting up an independent agency. Now, we will go through all of this. We went through all of this in 2014, and people can say, oh, you can never, ever do these things. Actually, what you find when you go through this process is that these are not the barriers many people uh, s seem to think that I'm they are. I'm just trying to get a sense of whether the costs are realistic. I'm just trying to get a sense of, of whether are the realistic. costs are realistic. The report says 450 million. It's costing at least 200 million currently to set up a Scottish social security agency. It costs you 178 million to set up an IT well, system to pay farmers. That's almost your entire budget budget for setting the, up in a the, new country. The, co the reason uh, that I've said we're going through a process, the costs that you have quoted to me in terms of the Growth Commission report are not figures that I've come up with. They're figures that I've respected academic has come up with. Uh, therefore, I think they deserve to be treated seriously. But as I started to see at the outset of this line of questioning, we will go through a proper process as a party of analysing and interrogating and coming to our own conclusions about these things. That's, I think, based on the line of questioning you've asked me, it's kind of what you would expect.